Hi guys, Miss Warren here. I wanted to read a book, but I wasn't quite sure what to read. Oh, what did she say? There's one behind the tree? Oh, oh okay. Uh, it's The Chimpanzees of Happy Town by Giles Andre and Guy Parker. This looks really interesting, thank you. Let's have a read. There was a town not far from here called Drabsville, USA, where all the houses looked the same and all of them were grey. There were no parks to play in, there were no trees at all, and the chimpanzee who lived there all felt very sad and small. Now Chutney was a traveller, he travelled far and wide, and he came home with a box one day which had a seed inside. He planted it and watered it and watched it slowly grow, until one day the mayor looked down and shouted, No, no, no! From way up in his palace he had spotted Chutney's seed. And now he bellowed, chop it down, destroy that ghastly weed. You can't grow things in Drabsville. This is beyond the pale. Guard, seize this wretched chimpanzee and throw him into jail. So Chutney went to prison where his cell was cold and bare and the mayor left his for his winter break to catch some country air. But meanwhile, back at Chutney's house, the boy and girl next door said, we must water Chutney's seed and make it grow once more. And with the children's love and care, it wasn't very long before the seed stretched out its shoots and grew up tall and strong. And Chutney from his prison cell looked out one day to see the leaves and flowers and branches of his own beloved tree. It gave him strength, it gave him hope, it made him happy too. And when at last they let him out, he said, there's work to do. Chimpanzees, this town is dead. These streets are all the same. Let's celebrate our differences. Let's make it fun again. Let's make our houses colourful. Let's pull our fences down. And while we're at it, why not change its name to Happy Town? The chimpanzees, they fell silent. These were stirring words to hear. He's right, they said. That chutney's right. And they began to cheer. I'm going to paint mine pink, one said. That's what I'm going to do when I'm going to climb up on the roof and paint my chimney blue. My windows will look fabulous with the, without these iron bars and the walls will be a symphony of flowers, hearts and stars. Then Chutney stopped and looked up at the palace of the mayor. The children need a place to play, he said. Let's build it there. So they pulled the palace down and built a playground with some swings, a roundabout, a rocket ship and loads of other things. Let's have a party, Chutney said, with yummy things to eat. There were sausages and ice cream. There was dancing in the street. And everyone was happy now, except for the mayor, of course. The mayor who came back to his palace, but his palace wasn't there. What's happened here, he said. Enough! Guards, seize them, everyone. But the guards, of course, just laughed and said, we're having too much fun. So they put the mayor in prison where he settled in, in quite well until one day the new mayor came and opened up his cell. Mayor Chutney said, you see my tree? Well, now I hope you know that everything that we cut down, we find a way to grow. All the things will always blossom if we dare to set them free. It's no difference for a little flower as for a chimpanzee.